Right. So just a couple of things to sum up ways in which we can leverage linguistic and cultural assets, jotting down some ideas, using some words from native language. There are words in our language that are oftentimes not translatable. They just sound better. They carry emotion with them. So asking the student, what does that mean? Right. Might help us understand their emotion at that moment but it also allows us the opportunity to provide them with the language. What word would they use instead of, and continue to develop that language. Having different types of translation tools available, it's become so easy now for anyone to be able to use their phone as a translation tool, but still having our good old fashioned bilingual dictionaries, our glossaries, visual dictionaries, all of that helps our kids truly wrap their heads around the language and what does it mean sharing authentic texts and we talked a little bit about that or using their lives their personal narratives as the story allowing time for students to process their perspectives with their peers it helps not only build a community in your classroom but it also allows them to create those bonds suddenly we're not that different anymore suddenly we actually have a couple of things in common Um, we talked a little bit about writing that includes features of English and their native language, and that's another session for another day. But a lot of our language comes through when we're using the other language. And so once again, reminder, it's not that it's wrong. It's that they're applying the rules of one language to the language that they're learning. So I love seeing how it's done in your language. Let me show you what it looks like in English is really what we need to respond there. Posting those multilingual vocabulary charts. We spoke a little bit about that with images, with definitions, with examples, non-examples, also very powerful. And then affirming their identities, listen, ask questions. Um, and always recognize that the opinions that they bring to their classroom stem from their culture, stem from where, where they come from, how they were raised, what values um, they truly, as I always say, hold close to their hearts.